in this video, I'll be going over a breakdown of the flow builder features for Instagram in a bit more detail using action steps, randomizers, smart delays, and conditions to string your conversation together. Now, if you haven't watched the flow builder basics video that I've previously made, I highly recommend that you do so. One of the first things that you want to set up is your default reply. This is a really good place to automate replies to some of those questions to save you time. So your default reply for Instagram can be accessed by going to settings, then Instagram, next to the default reply, click edit. For our default reply, we'll build out a menu with an FAQ we want to automate and a way for customers to get in touch with customer support. These are predefined responses for customers to choose from that take them through an automated path of your flow. Let's hit edit here. And let's say you get a ton of DMs about your next product launch. And so we want to automate a conversation for this. We'll create a quick reply button for next product launch and one for customer support as a second option. See here. So I say, hello, first name. Choose from one of the options below. So for product launches, let's say that we want to tag users that click this option as they have high potential to purchase. So we're going to add what's called an action step here. And then you can see that there's a list of actions that you can take when customers click this option. So we're going to choose add tag called interested in launch so that we can track these customers. And then as a next step, let's include an image of what our next product is gonna be and ask the, the customers for their email so that we can email them for the next launch. So we choose the image here and now we'll ask them for their email. Then we choose email and it automatically saves it. And we'll say, okay, great. There's this awesome feature here called if contact has not responded. Let's say we want to follow up with them after five hours if they haven't yet given their email. We create the user input to expire after five hours. Then after they have not given their email within five hours, if you click here, then we can do another message that asks them, then giving them options. So when they say, yes, I want to know, duplicate this and create a new one. And we'll take that off of there. Okay, wonderful then that's all the same seed. So duplicating that allows me to have this all set up so I don't have to recreate that. Uh, no thanks. Then we can say, and then same thing here, next step, we'll go here. You can only interact with customers in Instagram within 24 hours of their last interaction with your brand. So gathering this additional contact information like email is a good way to re-engage them later. Now, if we want to get a little more advanced, there is a randomizer that you can include in your flow to A-B split test different messages for optimization. So let's say we want to A-B split test different product launch images to see which one performs better. So we'll go back over here and this is where we will do the A-B split test since we have the image here. So if you click this and then you click on randomizer, then there's A, B. So 50% of the traffic will go to this image and then 50% will go to this one. So again, I just want to duplicate this and then we'll change out the image. So we'll see with the A, B split test, if the red or the blue does a better job at getting the intended result of having people give their email. So because we had this duplicated, it also expires in five hours. So what we can do just so that way we get a better idea of stats is we can actually duplicate this one as well. 
and then just go here and then no thanks can be click here. So we can see the stats also of not only which one gives more emails, but also of those who don't give the emails, which one says, yes, I wanna know more. So next, I'm gonna show you how condition blocks work. So condition blocks check whether a contact has met a condition to personalize the message and decide which pathway to move them forward based on these conditions. So let's use the customer service quick reply option for this. We'll do something simple like checking to see if a customer is tagged as a VIP customer so we differentiate the message, uh, messaging if they are. So click here and choose condition. Now we can actually tag VIP customer. So if they are tagged as VIP customer, then we can give them a different message based off of that tag. Hello, our favorite, favorite VIP customer. And then this one can have a different message depending on that condition because they are not a VIP customer. So it can have a totally separate message for them. The last thing we're going to do here is open this conversation up in live chat by adding an action step and selecting mark conversation is open. So we'll do it this way here. Action step mark conversation is open and we can just connect both of them. And then once somebody goes through this, it will mark their conversation as open. And there you have it, a basic breakdown of Flow Builder and its capabilities. There's really an endless number of things you can do in Flow Builder, which we'll dive into in later sessions. So head on to the next lesson to learn more about these amazing Instagram features.